Hello everybody, my name is Threadx and welcome back to Kenshi and the Life of Jeff. So we are going to be doing a little bit of an exhibition today away from our little Jeffston and we're going to head south to see what on earth is around here. Now I'm pretty sure this is a swamp, we already know this. What is this though? I have no idea. But we will go and find out everybody, we will go and find out. So of course between episodes I may have recovered from our extreme toughness training which involved me being killed in a desert and lying on the ground for like an hour but it's okay. We're back up to regular strength now, it's not a problem. <laughs> I have also led a lot of, a, a lot of the Jeff forces in that tower. Wait, guys, why are you not in the tower? That's not right. Oh, I guess because I re the save, maybe... Okay, go back up there. Get back to work, everybody. You need to be level 15 at fighting, okay? Wait, are they already level 15? No, they're not. I didn't think they were. Get back to work. Okay, so my, my town crew is currently doing some epic training out in the distance. And we're going to move off and go south. So, that's this way? Yes. Okay, let's go. I kind of like how foggy this place is. I don't know why you can't really see into the swamp, but it looks pretty terrifying to me. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Let's go this way. Do you reckon this is actually not water? Maybe it's like sulfur or something? You know, who knows? Who knows? I kind of... That would be amazing, by the way, if they put like a sulfur lake in the game. You just go swimming and you just die. Actually, why would that be amazing? I'm not really sure how I think that's amazing. But it is fine. Don't worry about it. So I'm not really sure what's going to be in this part of the map. Though what I do know is that there's something happening over there. Dust bandits. The dustiest of all the bandits. Settled nomads. Uh, they're, they're not nomads then, are they? That's incorrect as a statement. <laughs> uh, yeah, just having a good time. Do you reckon these guys that attacked me last time? No, eh, who knows. Anyway, we're going to avoid those guys and we're going to go and talk to the nomads who are settled, apparently. I do feel like this is not normal water. Is it, is it, it looks, it's got like a green tinge. I mean, after watching Dr. Stone, I'm a bit wary of random bits of water now. Uh, wait, go and, go and have a look, buddy. Who can experiment in this water? I guess I'll do, <laughs> Go and experiment. He's not dead. So it's probably just water. It's fine. Uh, there's a random guy I saw a second ago. Hello. Zan. He's just having a good time. Don't worry about that guy. So I wonder what they actually would sell over here. If anything. I don't even know. This is probably the saddest house or city I've ever seen in my entire life. Who might you be? My name's Jeff. I am Jeff. The leader of Jefton. And the emperor of Jefton. Oh, she's not responding. Okay, never mind. <laughs> hey, guys. Is this a... Uh, oh. Is it one of those parties, eh? Just uh, dance on the table. It's fine. This is why nomads don't sell everybody, because they don't really know what to do with themselves once they've done it. Okay, this is a very sad location. I'm not really sure what to make of this place, to be honest. Hi. Okay, good talk, good talk. I'm, <laughs> can you imagine just living with a goat? Wait, they sell animals here. That's an animal shop. It has to be. <gasps> Do you sell um, grillos? Because I would love a grillo. Maybe we should buy some new dogs for our colony as well. Hey, I would like to buy a puppy, please. Do they sell animal bags? We'll ask that afterwards. Uh, let's see. So you've got those goats. Is there a point of having goats? I don't know. I don't know. I am very tempted to buy a bone dog right now. Because if we can, you can just get them to guard the colony. I mean, like, right now, Bone does, like, 100 plus damage every time she bites somebody. It's pretty impressive. We'll consider it. On the way back, if we can, we'll buy some, we'll buy some of those. Uh, animal bags. There's not... People keep saying get a Bone, uh, a bag for Bone. I don't think they, they exist in the base game. I think you need to get mods for that. Actually, I'm pretty sure you need mods for that, but it's okay. Okay, so this place is very disappointing. I'm leaving. Screw you guys. I'm going to go and find a better colony. That's another group of nomads. So I thought this place had something really cool here, but it does seem to just be just a weird oasis. Okay, I just wanted to check with the humans in case it was poisonous. Let's go towards the swamp then, uh, which would be this way. Now, hopefully, I'm going to be honest, everybody. Last time I played this game and I went to the swamps, it was so cluttery. I couldn't even see what on earth I was doing. So there's a clutter warning, everybody, just so everybody's aware. Uh, who are you guys? Animal traders again. There's so many animals in this game. Okay, so into the swamps we go. It's pretty creepy, really. I mean, this tree looks like it's going to stab somebody. <laughs> it's like a giant mosquito. Okay, so we're probably going to die going into here, but we'll see what happens. We will experiment. And now we're in the swamp. I can't really see anything. So let's just hope that there's no one nearby. 
I think there's some Pacific bandits in here. I can't remember what they're called, though. Uh, oh my god! We should leave. Luckily, it's swimming, technically, otherwise we would have died already. Um, run away! They move at 33 miles per hour. I cannot outrun that. Even Beep. Even Beep cannot move at 30 miles, 5 miles per hour. He can only move at 25. I hate being in the swamp, everybody. <laughs> Why have I done this to myself? I can just be killed from any angle. It's horrifying. I can see that game. Yeah, so I mean, while we're doing this anyway, we've got to keep an eye on these guys, like fraud and stuff, because we do want to make sure they're not just wasting their time standing still. But the problem is, I noticed that the final training to get to level 15 um, skill takes literally, like, eons. In fact, do you know what? We're fine, don't worry about it, everybody. Go back to base. You have, like, 12 or 15 skill. You can learn the rest of the skills from just killing random bandits. You go back to base. Okay. Let's keep going. So, somewhere in here... I'm pretty sure there's a city uh, out so there. It's quite far away, but we'll get there eventually. This place is so creepy. I don't think there's stuff like cannibals in here, but I know there are bandits of some description. That was a weird noise. It's like somebody just stood on like a fart bag or something. It's a very creepy environment. I, I, I was going to say I can't wait until we discover new worlds of like wildlife, but that's not going to happen in my lifetime. But I, I, I can't... It'd be really interesting to see, like, what kind of different things there are in the world. Um, not the world. The universe. There's some kind of nest there, but I can't tell what it is. So we're going to presume it's a beak thing there, so we're not going to go over there. Okay, so I do want to get to the city. We probably want to not stay in the swamp for very long, because, like I said, it's pretty hard to see what on earth is going on in here. If we just bypass the swamp afterwards and we just go out here, we just explore this region and see what's going on this way. Also, there's loads of ruins. Which have loads of books in them. We can use it for research. It'd be pretty handy as well. It seems like we're doing pretty well at the moment. I probably shouldn't say that. Because it probably means I'm going to get attacked. <laughs> but at least it seems okay at the moment. Discovered rot. That sounds great. Let's go to rot. Which is this way. I think as well, the actual, like, locations are, like, swamp locations. Like, like a big swamp village. Okay, so I think it's loading in the map right now. Let's give it a few seconds. No, guys, carry on going. <laughs> Why have you stopped? <gasps> Hello? Red Saber. Of the Red Sabers. Who on earth is a Red Saber? I don't know. Hi, friend. Prepare to die. To be fair, he looks like a... She looks like a pretty well-equipped bandit. We could probably get some money off her. Take her down. Oh. Oh. They're okay at fighting. They probably beat us at the moment. But of course, we have a secret weapon, everybody. Is it me? Unleash the bow. And don't shoot Beep again. Beeps have enough torment already. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, switch target. Oh, no. <laughs> She's just dead. <laughs> dead. It's over. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I thought they died. It's fine. Uh, oh, be careful. Uh, Jeff, 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 Jeff. We definitely need to miss up on this one. Uh, actually, instead, we're going to pull out Beep as well. Beep. To be fair, we are getting pretty strong as a squad, but it's still a bit risky. Look at Jeff kicking some ass here. He's a master swordsman. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. You guys okay over here? You're under attack, apparently. No, you're not. You are under attack by hungry bandits. There's only like five of you, though. Uh, we need the protection. How are we going to get... Is there a way to make, like, Bone just protect an area or something? That'd be pretty handy. Okay, Bone, go and kill all these enemies over here. I should we get everybody come over here? A tackle. We'll let them be. Or we'll go and watch this battle. Kung Fu! Beep! Assist this me! Alright, switch up everybody. That was pretty good. Okay, while they're just doing nothing, let's just make sure everybody's okay over here. Oh god, the, the game's breaking. Don't worry about it. Where's Bone? Where is Bone? 
Bone is a Gatling gun dog. It's fine. He's been... Cat, do you have no weapons? Wait, do you... Oh, they have no weapons. Uh, it kind of makes the training a bit useless, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Just pick up their six. Just so you have some kind of weapon, buddy. We probably should invest in getting these guys' weapons at some point. Oh, Anthony Sky, though. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm just doing some quick looting here. Okay, I'm armed. <laughs> Who else hasn't got a weapon here? Forge is down. Uh, you suck, Forge. I, I'm so, I hate to say it. Has everybody here got weapons now? Uh, back editor has not. Wait, how do I say his name again? <laughs> Why have I created you this way? Bakerder. Bakerder? Whatever. Whoever, whoever you are, get back to work. Every year I already get bad to work, it'd be fine. Okay, they, they're doing their job again, perfect. Okay, you guys. Let's have a look, shall we? So. These are actually worth money. Ooh. Armored rags, colored. Pretty cool, actually. We'll take the weapons with us. Uh, it's fact, we're actually near a, vi a village of some description, so we'll just take everything we can. I wonder if they got bounties on them. Oh, hello? Who are you? Uh, okay. <laughs> I like how they're wise enough not to attack me. I think they've realized the mistakes of their uh, predecessors there. Let's grab some more. I wish there was like a general like area loot you could do or something. That'd be pretty cool. Also, we probably should check. Do these guys have bounties on them? I don't think they do. Ooh, mercenary leather. Lord Saber. Is that any better than the regular one? No, it's just a color version. That's pretty much it. Get back down! <laughs> just face part into the ground. That's what I thought, sir. That's what I thought. That is a cool looking weapon, though. It's actually pretty good as well. In fact, she probably is the biggest person. No, she's got nothing on her. I think that's it, then. I think that's all the... It's hard to tell if I miss any bodies. Oh, there's one there. Uh, there's some here as well. That should give us a little bit of money. We better than nothing anyway. Cool. Oh wait, take that, take that as well. Done. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot we killed two new ones. Okay, so we head over to Beep. Uh, not Beep, sorry, what's it called? We will head over to that little village they've set up somewhere. Stay down! <laughs> okay, let's move on. Rots, that was it. Let's go this way. What if it's an enemy base and I just don't realize <laughs> I just run into it like an idiot? <laughs> that is a good point, actually. That is a good point. Oh, go and scout. It seems like a pretty nice place. Hound. A hound's hostile? I have no idea. They seem chill. They seem chill. Hey, friends. Having a good day? I love your jacket. Yeah, they're, they're chill, they're chill. Let's go inside. Oh, so what have they got here then? It looks like they got a few buildings. They got a traveling building over there. I'm not seeing much when it comes to other shops though. I think it might just be that. But hopefully this guy has some socks we can uh, sell to them. Oh, they sell some pretty cool helmets actually. <gasps> a woody hat. <laughs> Scrap 10, armor hood. We probably need some of these to be fair. Scrap tent. Oh, that's pretty cool. You could use it as a tent against acid storms. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, let's get everybody over here. We'll sell the goods and we move on to the main city. Hi. <laughs> Damn it, Jeff. Get off the table. What are these? Oh my god. Are they river raptors again? Swamp raptors. They look at... Oh, they are better. Their stats are actually higher than the, uh, the little baby versions. They're yeah, pretty cool. They're probably still completely useless to fight, though, because I don't think they're going to give you anything. But Jeff's actually counted as being outside the house right now, which is pretty funny. Parkour! Hi. I was worried this was Jeff, and I'm like, wait, where's Jeff's weapon gone? It's just vanished. It's a nice easy way of making money, though. Is this me around here? I think I forgot to tell to come over here. There you go. I forgot to dump the specialist toothpick. We'll keep holding it. It's fine. We're just storing here. 
No, we won't. Never mind. <laughs> I won't saw anywhere, apparently. Or we should grab some food, because I think it's going to be pretty hard to find food in the middle of nowhere. Um, oh, I forgot about this as well. Damn it. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, Izumi. You are going to... Is is it pretty much just fish and food rations? Ooh. We'll take meat and fish, I guess, and we'll pick up more later. Okay, let's carry on. So, let's keep going to shark. I presume it's like a weird, like, bit in the middle of the swamp where it's actually not swampy at all. Just on the map anyway. I've never actually been there before, so it should be quite interesting. I actually came in here when I played last time and I was like, this place is horrifically, um, cluttery. I just left. <laughs> and I was like, well, screw this. I'm leaving. We do know those beak things, though, so we'll keep an eye out for those, because that would be a bit of a disaster. Also, technology-wise, we've done the technology. Oh! Oh! I didn't realise. Okay, so... Why can we not need research bench level 2? Of course we do. I'm a complete idiot. I forgot about that. Um, we are going to need to get a better research bench. What do we need to get a better research bench? Ooh, we need a bigger house. That's what we need, everybody. We need a storm house. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, it's gonna be, I'm pretty much just going to take up this entire room, by the way. So I'm not really keen. I don't really care why I'm putting stuff at the moment. Just until later on when we get more options. Uh, where's the front door? <laughs> there it is. Be one of those guys. You don't have materials, but everybody else does. It'll be fine. We'll turn this into like a food storage room or something later on. Anyway, as they're doing that now, they should do it automatically. We'll leave that off. Hopefully I'll get a notification when they finish it. And we can just head back and put down a research bench and stuff. I can't... <laughs> Why are you so slow? You're not even swimming. Damn it. Oh wait, is this banjo music? Oh my god. The banjo. Hey guys. What are you growing here? Rice weed. Makes sense. I thought, I thought it said cross the black shift and you'll pay the rice. I don't know why I thought it said that. <laughs> you'll pay the rice price. It's like the iron price from Game of Thrones, but it's to do with rice. Uh, this is a pretty interesting building. Is this like some kind of camp or something? Swampers. It's the old swampers. Let's have a look inside there anyway. What the? Oh, it's the river raptors again. Or oh, swamp raptors. There, there seems to be a pretty dead bar, I'm not going to lie to you. This, this guy is Dr. Chung. Can you be an amazing doctor for a while? I've already got a doctor. I don't need one. Sorry, buddy. Sucks to be you. Anti-saver pacifier. Interesting. We have to meet those still. We haven't found them yet. Uh, no. Can you not give me resources, sir? This is why you have no customers. You don't sell anything. God, idiot. Okay, well, we're leaving. <laughs> we probably should talk to this guy just in case. Hey, Dr. Chung. Name's Dr. Chung. Best surgeon you're going to find in town. And the only one in town. Need a new face? I can give you a real pretty smile. Yeah. Wait. God damn it. <laughs> Those goons took my favorite uh, chin chisel. Okay. Uh, wow. I don't want to change the look of me. Do you know what? This guy's crazy. I don't want it. I only want the best chisels used on my face. Sorry, sir. It is what it is. You should have invested in better chisels. Okay, so we are nearly at this region here. I'm still curious on why it's a different color, but we'll see in a second, I guess. It does seem a bit deserty here. This clearly is some kind of... Something horrible's happened here at some point. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a, I don't know what that is. It's a part of a bone, sorry. I thought it was like a weird caterpillar slug. I think I've been... I think I've been given a wrong map everywhere. This does not seem very deserty to me. It seems like a swamp. Yeah, let's just quickly run into... Sh I think this place is a pretty big city, so we should get quite a lot of options here. More raptors. This is a big city, though. Probably not a lot here, though, but still. Okay, so what have they got around here, then? We've got travel shops. Let's go to the bar. 
normal shop, tool shop, more bars, a sword shop. Uh, I guess the faction place. We should probably talk to these people. Let's talk to the. Uh, let's talk to these people. Hello. My name is Jeff. Where is your faction leader? Take me to your leader. Do you have a leader? I'm gonna go with maybe. <laughs> there should be. Oh, Big Grim. Of the hounds. Hi. Oi. Ever heard of a thing called space punk? Oh, they don't want to talk to me. Is there anybody else I can talk to? <laughs> this is not a very good. Wait, are you one of the? No, they're not. They're not rich or anything. Am I missing something here, or is there no one to talk to here? Are you still talking? Look. I missed what- wait, 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 pause? Let's catch up. What, what were they saying? Because I have no idea. <laughs> I wasn't listening. Ah. Oh, they probably really talked to me in a second. Let's just give it a few seconds. We'll let them keep talking. You just keep talking. I'll wait for you to stop your rant and then we'll do it from there, okay? <laughs> what are those glasses you're wearing? They look ridiculous. They're not going to attack me, are they? Oh no. <laughs> if she kills that person, it'd be hilarious. She just whacks him in the face. Are you done yet? Okay, that was it, I think. No, they're still talking. They're still talking. Wait, do I have to actually leave or are they going to kill me? I'm not going to leave. I'm Jeff. No one makes me leave. Okay, well, I guess we can't really make any friends here, everybody. Screw you, random person. I'm leaving. I'm going to make my own swamp village. We're going to have blackjack. And maybe hookers. Okay, so that place was kind of a dud. Let's go over here, then. I don't really want to try and recruit more people, but you never know who you can meet in these places. There are unique people you can find, but oh, I wish I can get like a, another skeleton though. Nah, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. Skeletons are a bit expensive, aren't they? <laughs> to try and run around with. I think we'll just probably get some food and move on out of this location. Why do you not have food in these stupid bars? What is wrong with these people? This is why no one comes to visit the swamp. It just sucks. Let's go to that bar. Uh, so we head out this area anyway, because it kind of sucks. We go to the ruins, there might be some books there we can grab. And then we head out towards this place here. A lot of uh, very heavily armored people around here. Ah, oh, fuck. Do you reckon they'll start a fight? Ah, I wonder if we've got to talk to this person first. Wait, 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 can we do anything with her or is it going to cost a lot of money? Because I don't want to spend money because one, I haven't got any. <laughs> and two, I don't really want to get involved with these people, to be honest. Um, welcome to the Dancing Skeleton, the best bar in the swamp. Throw a cat uh, uh, to our lovable dancing mascot, Nelly, that for a month. What, is, what are they talking about? <laughs> is there a sign I missed somewhere? Ah, it's that, I see. Your sign is a corpse. That's not. Or is it? It is a corpse! Oh! That, that is kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, yeah, nice sign, buddy. <clears throat> this guy's crazy. Okay, let's trade. Have you got food? He's got food. Good, we're, we're sorted then. Uh, I'm going to buy... It's cheaper here for some reason. <laughs> Gohan! Can we become Super Saiyans if we eat this? I'll take all of them. Thank you very much. Okay, we're sorted. Let's get the hell out of everybody. This place kind of sucks. We're leaving. Screw you. I'm going to the ruins. We're out of it. Yeah, so far the swamps have not been great, everybody. I'm not going to lie. 
Ah, there's a trading caravan, eh? Ah, never raid. That's not great. What kind of raiders we got this time, game? We have... Wait, what? Trading guild caravan, is it? Target me. And then we've also got Dust Bandit, Bandit Damar, and Black Dragon Ninja Bandit raid. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff going on there. When they shot, we just run away again. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Wait, didn't someone just run off to... Oh, where are you going, Artie? Come back, buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> yes. Eat Gohan. Become Gohan. Ooh. They're adorable. They have, like, no attack strength. If I kill one of these, you reckon we can get... I'm... I'm, I'm conflicted, everybody. Should we attempt attacking this? <laughs> we'll leave it, we'll leave it. I feel like it'd be awful if you try and kill one. It's like... It, I don't want to kill animals if I don't need to. It'd be fine. we got Gohan, anyway. I imagine they got some kind of gimmick where they, like, defend each... Like, uh, just... Oh, this is a big ruin. Ah, and in fact, this is a big ruin, isn't it? This is a very big ruin. We're going to use uh, Operation Wall. We'll go and see what's going on. Can we not get up here? Ooh! Blood spider. Well, that's disgusting. Uh, can we not get up here, by the way? <laughs> Is this a... <laughs> it doesn't seem like we can even get up here anyway. Wait, it's aggro. Oh, there's a. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I have a plan, everybody. I have a plan. I'm going to save because it's clearly going to work and I'm not worried about it failing. Is it me? Shoot the blood spiders. She can't do it, can she? Okay, so we're going to back up anyway. Uh, let's get out of here quickly. Let's go back over, like, this direction, just so we're out of the way. We're going to use the power of Wall to scout for us. We probably should let Wall do some wall picking as well. Or you just don't do it. Oh, they glitched through! Look how fast it is! That's terrifying! Oh my god! I don't like it. I don't like it. Take it away. If we can just glitch them through the wall, kill them all with Izumi, and then we can go and loot it, it'd be fun, right? I'm a bit scared about how powerful it is so fast. I do. Do we want to fight this? It's dying from something. It's really weak. This must mean it has insane DPS. I'm just going to put it out there right now. I reckon this thing kicks you like a truck. It didn't hit us, it's fine. What, what do you get from these anyway? Animal teeth. Well, that's, that's great. <laughs> that's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, we need to get use the power of Glitchy to get them out of here. There is quite a lot of them, to be fair. Why can't I open this, by the way? Okay, everybody, my plan failed. <laughs> I tried to reload. So what I did, I, um, I opened the door, I made them run around, I got everybody to go inside, and then guess what? They just glitched through the wall and killed everybody. So that was not good, everybody. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sucked. Are we, what's, what's inside, though? Because I didn't actually get to go inside. I just know that they glitched through this door here. I'm gonna take a look. Let's just take a quick look inside. No, look inside, wall. Look inside. Can we not? Okay, you guys need to back up. <laughs> you guys need to back the hell up right now. You go back to that base. Just stand in the swamp village. Don't go in. Wall is fast. Wall will be fine. Can we not go inside here? Ah. Interesting. There must be some cool loot in here, though, surely. Okay, everyone else is going to run back to base. They're kind of like, they're going outside for some reason. I don't know why. Patrolling town. I've let them loose. I've created the epidemic <laughs> that will destroy the world. Damage book, damage book. There's a food or like a... They don't seem to care that I'm inside. They seem to have forgotten about a bit old wall here. Why are you under attack? 
red sabers. That's actually not a problem. That's fine. Enora, just run past, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything here good at the moment. Are these all... No, they're not. But look at... This doesn't seem that good at the moment. We've got upstairs, though. I'm a bit worried about them wandering inside, so we'll go and check up here. You guys are okay, right? You are running away still. They're not faster, are they? They shouldn't be. 20 miles per hour. They may be slightly faster. Okay, let's have a look. So, maybe what we should do... Sneak wall. Just sneak. Go upstairs and just sneak here. Stay still. I'm going to micromanage this guy, these guys first. They should be fine, but I'm a bit worried about them being caught... Because of the weird out of combat thing. Jeff Force under attack as well. Oh no, Jeff Force. Not Jeff Force. Just stand here, guys. Stand here. What's happening, guys? Oh no! It's too far away, this stone mine. Oh, they are coming to get reinforcements, so that's good. Let's, let's watch Bone work, shall we? Look how big Bone is. Bone's a big girl. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Who's attacking you? Oh, you're being attacked in the middle of the village. That's interesting. There's too much happening at the same time. <laughs> this bone is so powerful. Oh my god. Bone's a monster. Why are you just... Don't take that. Okay, I think things under control again. We took a little bit of damage there, but it wasn't the end of the world. Um, Anthony and George, not had a good day. They've had a pretty awful time, to be honest. Mm, can you kill that person, please? Thank you. Okay, they should take care of themselves now. It's fine. That's what I was doing, though. Okay, so this is some kind of, like, ancient... What is happening out there? Red Sabres. Oh, so I forgot. These guys are what I would define as a glass cannon, everybody. They are a bit terrifying. They also seem to just randomly die for some reason, but I don't know why. They're just like, they're losing their stats, but I don't know why. It's very strange. But anyway, they hit like a truck. They hit for like 60 to 80 damage. Look at that. That is terrifying. Now, I was hoping originally, because when I realized what was happening, I was hoping that they can just, um, have I actually unlocked an epidemic or something? They seem to be everywhere now. Have I caused this? Was this me? Have I ended the world? They're attacking everywhere. I think I've ended the world, everybody. I've released the blood plague on the world. Oh my god. Yeah, so even though they're really small, their, their limbs only have uh, 25 protection. Where, where is one? Let me find one quickly. They're over here, aren't they? They're everywhere. Now, I've released them. They've only got like 25, like 30 limb power, but my guys can't shoot them at all. They seem to miss over and over again. Uh, and also they do eat you. They will eat you. Anyway, so as I've now destroyed the universe, why are you research? Does this count as research? Interesting. Uh, you don't need to seek anymore. I think you're fine. This is a big research bench, though. Look at how big these are. They're ridiculous. Just in case there's books inside, though. I don't think there is. I think I've, like, destroyed the world, everybody. I think I've caused the end of time as we know it, unfortunately. Um, imagine if it was actually how it worked that way. <laughs> the whole game is now just full of blood spiders. Like, everyone's going to die horribly. There's um, Jeff Force. No. You're fine. Are you sure you want to do that? Pathetic. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Just whack. Dead. Okay, so these are traits as well. I'm not seeing anything amazing yet. What about the top floor? There is some general storage here, though, so hopefully this might be the place we need to be. I don't think there's going to be any loot in these places. Ah, that's not good. Oh, you can pick it. Nice. I was worried about your picking skills. 
Map of the Ashlands. Whoa! Damn, boy! Damn! I'm gonna use it just because it probably gave me some cool stuff, I guess. Um, is that all it did? That was not worth everybody. <laughs> that was a, well, damn it. That did not work out in my favor. Uh, that, that's fine. We can just leave when they come. Are these all lootable? Oh my god. I'm really worried about them coming up here, but I don't think they will. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh. They are here! Oh no! What have I done? What have I done? How are they doing this? I think I've actually broken the game. Okay, all right. I'm going to quickly phase away to Google these blood spiders. If I have any of the game, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, everybody. I looked it up. It's just a coincidence that there's blood spiders everywhere. I haven't actually caused the end of the world. It's fine. Uh, but apparently, they're really cool, though. They Apparently, they they eat your hunger directly. They eat the nutrients directly from people. So that's how they kill you. That sounds pretty cool to me. Uh, but yeah, apparently, there's, there's a regular mob that just like, lives in this area. I don't know how I've caused it. It's a coincidence where I've opened up a gate and out of there everywhere, but it's still pretty funny. <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. Anyway, um, they are actually everywhere. Wait, where are you guys going? Oh, they're over there as well. 100 damage. Oh my god. Can we hide inside or something? Because I don't really want to be dealing with this anymore. <laughs> Let's just go inside. <laughs> hide up here. Go into this guy's house. There you go, we're safe now, we're safe, it's fine. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, that was pretty cool. I, I would love it if there's a way, like, you can open, like, an ancient mystery that's killed the game. That would have been hilarious. Uh, there's a lot of loot in here, though. Probably not gonna be enough for Wall to nick it all by himself. Uh, we're just opening it. Oh, can't do that one. There's definitely a lot of stuff we can grab here, though. Uh, oh, 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 oh. You can keep looting Walt, you got this, buddy. I wonder what's in there. I really want to know. Oh, it's a safe! Oh! Ah, we need to go inside. Ooh, this is what I was looking for. Super ancient science books. As you can see, they're kind of worth a lot of money. We're not going to sell these. We're going to, of course, use them one day, but... We'll come back here later on if we get stronger, but right, oh, beep, 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 beep. Beep, what are you, just stay inside, buddy. Are you guys not care that your base is now infested by blood spiders? I would care, just putting out there. I would care myself. Anyway, Anthony, you okay? Oh, he's just sleeping, he's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, oh, did you guys finish the house, by the way? Nearly. One more thing to go, and then they finished the house, very nice. Oh no, I forgot about that, everybody. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Pick up. Hi, friend. Um, We actually left the oven on in the second base, so we need to go and deal with that. I saw, I'm sorry, we're leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> the scatter as soon as they appear, we're gone. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, we need a better person. An ancient safe. Interesting. Do you reckon we can try and get Jeff in here somehow? It might be a bit of a challenge. Oh, no. Oh, they're fine. Are you being eaten alive? Jeff, you have a mission, Jeff. You need to get over here. Go, Jeff. Go. You got this, buddy. They are. It does seem a bit weird that they spawn this many while I've done this. It's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Uh oh, that's uh, probably not good. To be fair, they, they're fine. They can run away. It's not a problem. Jeff, let's focus on Jeff. Gurgle plug. Oh, it's so bad. It's just eating his hunger. It's awful. I'm so sorry. Drickin? No, it's too risky. If this thing hits me in the right place, I'm just dead. So we're not going to try it. We're just going to get inside the camp. Go, Jeff, go. We need your lot-picking skills. 
Oh no, it's still it. Oh no, 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 no. No, you two get upstairs, maximum floor. Are we okay? I think we're okay. If they're not okay, they're dead, by the way. Just put it out there. Not, there's no way we can kill one of those. <laughs> we're doomed. Okay, uh, can you. Oh, he's not good enough. You can do this way. What is happening to you all? Oh, we're now under attack here, which is not perfect. Uh, guys, get up to here. Everyone that's not a dog, go inside the base. Oh my, I love my Gatling dog. She's so powerful, it's actually ridiculous. Look at the damage! And I think she's not even fully grown. She's at 0 0.77. She can get a lot stronger than this. She actually just directly bit the guy's arm off. It's now just... Ooh. Oh, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Are you gonna... How's this gonna work then? Can you go and help Forge? He needs some assistance, friend. No, help Forge. Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> there you go, they're fine. Okay, everyone, go back over there. Just chill. Don't leave for a while. And we're good. Okay, good, good job, everybody. Good job. Okay, so back over here, though. A uh, couple plates. Not that useful. We can't. Oh! I think locker picking seems to be the fastest skill in the game to level up to me. It seems very easy to do. Uh, where is it? Yeah, look how fast this is. We're level 25 and it's still rocking up like crazy. Oh, you did. Oh, oh my God. Oh my, oh my, that's so much money. This, and look at all these books, everybody. We've hit the jackpot. Jackpot has been attained. Life goals are being completed before our eyes. <gasps> oh, wow. We are rich, everybody. We are rich. So rich. <laughs> it's not a problem. Can you please tell me? No, that's so sad. I really want to avoid this. I feel like if I try and break this open, it might break what's inside. So we're not going to risk that. I, I can see that, Jeff. I can see that. Lock complexity level 69. We were pretty close. That's level 55. So we'll we come back here at some point. Anyway, so uh, yes, we're taking these. These are amazing. Oh my God. Wow. Rich. We probably should take these. We'll leave those. We'll leave those. Uh, we are so rich, though. This is... Use tools. <gasps> oh, my God, everybody. Oh, my God. I think this is what we need. Wait, no, no. We need more space. Jeff. Yes. Well, that's going to take a while. Um, okay, Jeff, you, you deal with that, buddy. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. We can go back home now. Rich. Rich. I don't know why I keep saying rich every time I pick it up, but I mostly feel like a better person, to be honest. Um, rich. I guess we'll take one kit. We are stacked, everybody. We are so rich right now. <laughs> when we get back to our camp, we're sorted. We may have to make like an extra trip here somehow. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Should we try and get Izumi over here? Wait, uh, what's it like outside, guys? How bad is it outside right now? They're still eating people. It seems to be okay. It seems to be okay. Izumi! Oh, it's adorable. You have one mission, isn't me. You need to get inside this location. Actually, no, maybe... Beep? No, who's got the other trade backpack? No one. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Go. Beep's fast. Beep can do this. We don't want to bring everyone over here because we might die, but we're going to try our best. Go, Beep! Look at the speed. Look at the prowess.
Get inside, beep. Dude, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Oh no, they're gonna, we're gonna get aggroed. Just run away like last time, hopefully they won't chase you in. No, stay away! Bad Slider, get him, get him, get him! Why is he so protected against Blood Spiders? That's weird, isn't it? You think it would be way more damage. I saw a guy who got hit by like 90 earlier, so I'm not sure why this guy seems to be a bit different here, but... Okay, they're having a good time out there. Have we done it? What timing? Okay, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. What is inside the mega safe? It's actually less than the other one. <laughs> After all that, everybody, it's less than the other place we broke into earlier. It's fine, whatever. Uh, we got a load of money from this anyway, so... How slow are you guys at running now? 28. Your speed is 8. Oh my god. One kilogram, one kilogram. Wow. Whoa, it's these. Okay, uh, we'll get rid of those then. We'll put these in here. Oh my god. <laughs> 26, 20, 22. We're fine. We can get out of it. I guess we can get more loot then. The, the flies are very annoying, by the way. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a bit annoying, all the flies everywhere. Um, okay, guys, you have a mission. You have to get back to safety. We will come back to this location one day, but not at the moment. We have made money though. We are money we are money men once again. Deep, you just glitched outside like a madman. That was pretty impressive. Okay, guys, go back to that swamp village. And off they go. Everyone over here. Go back to the base. They're still there. Wait a minute, they shouldn't be there anymore. They're still there. Is it because I'm not there to shower or something? Also, why are we not healing allies and stuff? What's up with this? Interesting. Just stay there for now, guys. Just chill for there. Okay, so clearly we're going to go back to a place and we're going to sell all this stuff first. Because uh, I don't want to risk dying. And also, we want to keep on going anyway to go towards this location, outside the swamp anyway. I'm kind of sad that I didn't unleash a blood spider epidemic on the world, because that would have been amazing. I, I, a game I really, really like. Uh, actually, I like the second one as well. It seems a little bit more patches than my liking. It's Distant Worlds. It's a strategy game. You've probably seen it on my channel already. There is a monster in the old game, uh, Distant Worlds 1, called, I think, a Nano Swarm. And you can accidentally release it by exploring. And it was amazing because these things ate mass. So they sort of like a small little cloud. And if it touches like an enemy ship, it will eat the ship and grow larger. And when it gets to a certain point, it splits in half. So I remember one game I played where I accidentally unleashed one of those across the galaxy. And I was like, oh, that sucked. I better leave this area. Later on, they, there were so many of these narrow swarms. They started eating planets and stuff. And it was like an end game crisis. <laughs> and it was like, oh my God, <laughs> there's narrow swarms everywhere. I'd literally equip all my ships of like uh, ion beams and stuff to like short circuit them. It was amazing. But I like the idea that you can just release like the end times by exploring. It's amazing. Um, okay, let's go to a shop and just sell stuff. We are going to make bank, everybody. I can fill the bank from here. Hello there. I have money for you, sir. I have money. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I can, uh, the money is just flowing into my pockets. Oh, he's, he's poor again. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. The KLR series was legendary for its simple durability. Designed for the original service bots working alone in the remote hostile environments. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. So it's worse at lot picking and thievery, which is fine. Uh, it's got more, it's got HP. It's got HP for days. It gives you dexterity, slightly less dexterity, but it also gives you strength. And less at swimming. Okay, we're going to take this. Beep is going to have the most amazing arm in the universe, everybody. It's going to be a fabulous. We may have just spent a lot of our money there on Beep, but it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But we just, Cyber Beep needs to be the most amazing Beep the world has ever seen. 
And that is what our goal is at the moment. It's fine. Uh, well, one of my goals. I have a lot of goals. Uh, let's see. We, you can't afford it all. Is there anything else that's really cool I can buy? He has a lot of cool stuff here, actually. Um, that's my old arm. Maybe we want one of these vultures. Maybe Beep deserves a better sh uh, crossbow. No, it's actually way worse. Oh, it's a bit stinky, everybody. It's a bit stinky. Is that a harpoon? It's a harpoon. Maybe we can get some of these... Um... Can I just point out again, the buzzing noise is very annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. It's super annoying. Uh, no, there's not really much else here I, I really want to buy. But leave it be. Okay, so let's go to another shop because they have some more money. They will have a zim more money. There's a few shops we can go to. Guys. Okay. Hello there. I would like to sell you these amazing wonders I found. Uh, what's this guy got for sale? Not much. He's not got anything for sale already. He's got some books though. We probably need some... We shouldn't buy books for these characters because they're going to be exploring. They don't need to have books on them. Um, you can't afford... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we are so... We have so much loot, we just can't get rid of it. It's ridiculous. Um, hi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the money's too high. The money's too high. Fish. I agree, friend. I agree. Hi. No, wrong person. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so they actually sell quite a few things here again, but I'm not actually going to buy... Oh! These go in the belt slot, and it makes you invulnerable to Desert Storm. That's super handy. Doesn't this work that way? No, there's, there's certain things you can put in belt slots, which is... I think there's a belt slot in. I'm wrong. Ignore me, everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just off. I'm way off. I thought it was a thing that it's like an accessory, but it's just not that. Uh, never mind, then. Never mind. Have you got anything awesome you might want to buy? No, not really. Not really. I do. I'll, I'm not going to be too crazy on money because we're going to need a lot of money anyway to buy other stuff in the game. Uh, let's go to a bar and buy some more food. Oh, you guys, this guy sells fish. Hi, friend. I happen to need some fish. Can you buy a power core off me? <laughs> oh, look at all this. This is great. This is great. Uh, I will take... Oh, we've already got some fish. Don't worry about them. We're fine. Oh, okay, uh, let's carry on going then, shall we? I really want to try and get out of this location, so maybe we we'll want to head up to... Let's just head out, I guess. We'll just head out of this region. we we'll just tend to go that way. Uh, before... I... They're on their way. They're off. They're off. You guys head back to the base, which is still covered in enemies. Damn it. Uh, let's send Cat back and we'll see what's going on. Maybe I've got to go there so they attack me and then I run away. Because Cat is very fast. 22 miles per hour. There's chaos everywhere. Look at all the destruction. Why are there still bug noises in my ears? This is when I realised after I start recording there's actually a, a, a bug in my ear. <laughs> Okay, they're going to attack me. They're going to... Sorry, I think because I wasn't there to activate the event, nothing happened. So I kind of wasted a lot of time there, but it's fine. Okay, so we're trying to leave the swamps right now. Guys, can you be more consistent with... No, no. Over this way, guys. Over this way. Uh-oh, someone's under attack. Uh, Wait, go back. Wait, everyone's under attack? How? Ooh. We're not getting any help, but we have bones. So bones should kill these guys without a problem. It'd be fine. We'll just quickly speed through it. There you go. Logs are uh, very powerful. <laughs> We're missing beep and... There they are. Oh no! Swamp then oh we gotta leave, we gotta leave, we gotta leave, we gotta leave, we gotta leave. You have to leave, we have to leave. Beep, why are you not moving? Um that's actually really bad. 
How do we get out of this situation? We we'll already see the place, I guess. Just leave. How fast are these fellas then? 18. Oh, they're not as fast as I thought they were. Sorry. I thought they were super speeds. Run away. I guess Beep Mario got stuck on the terrain or something. Oh, it's because he just stops moving sometimes. Beep. <laughs> run, man. Run. Beep. Stop. Stop moving. Go, go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> Who is the slowest person in this party? Ridley. We are, we're only going to be moving 20 miles per hour. Oh, that's, oh no! Oh, that's good, actually. That's good. We're safe. A chunin. Okay, we're, we're safe. We're safe. The buzzing noise is driving me insane. Let's get out of this stupid swamp. Stupid buzzing. <laughs> It's just buzzing all the time. Let's keep going. We need to find a nice little place we can call it a day. The spy. Oh no! <laughs> I just got out of the spider zone. Are they robot spiders, I guess? Oh no, that looks like a spider to me. That looks like a spider spider. Skin spy, that looks disgusting. Wait, let's get, let's get a closer look. Oh, uh, look at it. Oh, no, we're not. No, 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 we're gonna go out of it. We're not screw this. Not, <laughs> I'm not dealing with that, everybody. I'm not dealing with that. Um, let's go this way. Oh, they're over there as well. How fast are these skin spiders by chance? They're slow, it's fine. We can outrun them, it's not a problem. Uh, they're talking about something. You probably could have treated it if you pause, but I didn't really have that opportunity. There's this like a city over there though. We can go and stop out for the rest of the day. The bugs are still in my ear, by the way. Either I am actually there's a real bug in my ear, or this game has a problem with bugs. Okay, there's more skin spiders over there. This is last stand, isn't it? I'm not. It should be a Shek place, right? I think it's Shek. I don't know. Ah, nice. Okay, before I forget, then head back to the base. Have they left? They are leaving. Good. Go back to base. I feel kind of bad for the Jeff Jeff Force today because they haven't really had a lot of time to do anything in the city. It's been running away the entire time. Okay, so we have found ourselves out of the swamp now. The swamp was quite interesting day to say, I've got to say. Um, but would I visit again? No, probably not. It was kind of horrible. It's like a dual city. That's pretty cool. This isn't a military base of the Holy Empire, is it? Or whatever it's called. No, it is the Shet Kingdom. Okay, that's fine. We're good, we're good. They're not hostile to me. I don't think they're hostile. I want to see if we can help them kill the whole nation or something. That'd be pretty fun. Where do you reckon their base is? It seems like it would be here. This isn't a village, is it? This is a town. Wait, is this a, a military base or is this a... This may be a fortress. I'm not sure. This might be like a place you don't actually go inside. Oh, seems fine. Let's just go. Oh, there's a bar. I'm wrong. Sorry. <laughs> you there. Hello there. Uh, sure. One day, they're going to say I've got contraband and I have nothing on me. It's going to be hilarious. Because <laughs> <coughs> they've checked me before and I've been like, I've had like an entire like inventory of stolen goods. And it's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. Okay, good for you, Shek Warrior. Good for you. So, everybody, I feel like that's probably been it for today's episode. I hope everyone has enjoyed it. I do, i got to say, I, I definitely prefer exploring than anything else. But that's just me. I love exploring in uh, these kind of games. Especially because there's so many different environments you can go to. It's pretty cool. And if they chase me, Berserkers... Look at they? <laughs> oh, he looks pretty badass, though. This guy, if I was going to say someone's a Berserker, it would be that guy. But anyway, everybody... 
Thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.